Let's see. We have oh Abby Johnson. We got to yeah, we got to do Abby. Got to do, do Abby. Abby. I mean, in she a nice up. way. We've got to play her clip, and uh, because it was it was really good last night. I'm so glad they covered it. You, yes, it's kind of a uh, ballsy move, uh, and they went ahead. They, I mean, she just I mean, plowed look, it's, over them. It, it it's proof that Donald Trump is the most pro life president, isn't it? Though I mean, it's, it's, there's no backing down from that. We should look into that, whether or not they have focused for five or six or seven minutes, whatever she spoke for, on abortion at any other I, convention. I bet they haven't. No way. I'll bet they haven't. Uh, so here is what Abby Johnson had to say uh, last night to America. My name is Abby Johnson, and I spent eight years working for Planned Parenthood. But today, I'm a pro-life activist. When I was in college, Planned Parenthood approached me at a volunteer fair. They talked about helping women in crisis and their commitment to keep abortion safe, legal, and rare. I was convinced to volunteer and later offered a full-time job as a medical assistant before my promotion to director of the clinic. I truly believed I was helping women, but things drastically changed in 2009. In April, I was awarded Planned Parenthood's Employee of the Year Award and invited to their annual gala where they present the Margaret Sanger Award, named Mm. for their founder. And Margaret Sanger was a racist who believed in eugenics. Her goal when founding Planned Parenthood was to... Uh, Really quick, and let's go back to that part where she starts talking about Margaret Sanger. This is pretty courageous because you have just opened yourself you sure up have. to their patron saint of death. And when you mess with their patron saint of death, oh, you don't want none of that. Uh, <laughs> you, oh, wow. You, do not. <laughs> you, you're messing with the edge of the spear now. I know. This is, I, that's courageous. Just flat out called her a racist, which she is. And there's all kinds of proof for her. But nobody ever says it. Well, except us and a few others. But here she is. April, I was awarded Planned Parenthood's Employee of the Year Award and invited to their annual gala where they present the Margaret Sanger Award, named for their founder. And Margaret Sanger was a racist who believed in eugenics. Her goal when founding Planned Parenthood was to eradicate the minority population. Today, almost 80% of Planned Parenthood abortion facilities are strategically located Uh in minority Uh neighborhoods. Uh Yes! And every year, Planned Parenthood celebrates Mm. its racist roots by presenting the Margaret Sanger Award. Amazing. Later in August, my supervisor assigned me a new quota to meet, an abortion quota. I was expected to sell double the abortions performed the previous year. When I pushed back, underscoring Planned Parenthood's public-facing goal of decreasing abortions, I was reprimanded and told, abortion is how we make our money. But the tipping point came a month later when a physician asked me to assist with an ultrasound guided abortion. Nothing prepared me for what I saw on the screen. An unborn baby fighting back, desperate to move away from the suction. And Mm. I'll never forget what the doctor said next. Beam me up, Scotty. The last thing I saw was a spine twirling around in the mother's womb before succumbing to the force of the suction. On October 6th, I left the clinic, looking back only to remember why I now advocate so passionately for life. I founded and currently run, and then there were none, a nonprofit organization that's helped nearly 600 abortion workers transition out of the industry. For most people who consider themselves pro-life, abortion is abstract. They can't even conceive of the barbarity. They don't know about the products of conception room and abortion clinics where infant corpses are pieced back together to ensure nothing remains in the mother's wombs. Or that we joked and called it the pieces of children room. You see, for me, abortion is real. I know what it sounds like. I I know what abortion smells like. Did you know abortion even had a smell? Right. 
I've been the perpetrator to these babies, to these women. And I now support President Trump because he has done more for the unborn than any other president. Hmm. During his first month in office, he banned federal funds for global health groups that promote abortion. Great. That same year, he overturned an Obama-Biden rule that allowed government subsidy of abortion. He appointed a record number of pro-life judges, including two Supreme Court justices. And importantly, he announced a new rule protecting the rights of health care workers objecting to abortion, many of whom I work with every day. Life is a core tenant of who we are as Americans. And this election is a choice between two radical anti-life <clears throat> activists and the most pro-life president we have ever had. There you go. That's something that should compel you to action. Go door to door, make calls, talk to your neighbors and friends, and mm -hmm. vote on November 3rd. Take action that reelects our president and do it with our very most vulnerable Americans in mind the ones who haven't been born yet. How I'm... dare she? How dare she? <laughs> Talk about a woman's right to choose in that yeah. way. Talk about reproductive health in that way. Jeez. And she's wearing that god-awful 72 pin, that 1972 pin. Yeah. I can't take it. I can't take <laughs> Can't you? It. That's her jewelry. Uh -huh. That's actually her jewelry. Yeah. She, they, they came up with that because Selena Gomez came out with her 1973 abortion rights jewelry. Oh. And Abby's like, mm, dude, uh, we're going to start doing 1972. <laughs> That's great. I know. Fight back. Wait, Selena Fight Gomez, back. the little yeah. actress, yeah. has a 1973 yeah, pin? She, uh, that was her oh, jewelry, the 73. Oh, disgusting. Oh, come on. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, yeah, because we're really happy about the the yeah. year that they started murdering infants. No, what we're happy country? about is uh, women can make choices about their own. Oh, that's health. right. That's okay. reproductive health. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. Now they can finally get mammograms, which Planned Parenthood doesn't do <laughs> uh, somehow. <laughs> so. No, but they can get it. But they can. Yeah, they can walk they can into a Planned Parenthood, and Planned Parenthood can send you a Down couple of miles away <laughs> where there's a hospital or clinic like where they can do that for you. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't do that here. It is. Well, what about uh, uh, prenatal care? Nah, we don't do that here. We're, we're, not, a, we're not about babies. There's we're about a flyer right them. there. You can take that. Yeah, that take that flyer. Go. And we'll show you how to how to wipe that baby from your womb if you want. I mean, her words were, I mean, I, get goosebumps. I got goosebumps again. Yeah, it's her. powerful. I mean, every time you hear her speak, it's great. You see the movie, you understand what's coming, you know what she does. And every time it's impactful, even so. Yeah. Really impactful.